even just how you're you're gonna tacky up your hands. So between the fingers is what I like to do on the on the ends here. I'm putting tacky here and a little bit around the base of the, the palm to be able to rub that in. You want to be able to clasp your, your fingers depending on to kind of see how the base is a real thick base and depending on your fingers real wide if you can clasp them in tight like that and really lock them in that's going to make a difference too something you can cup in the base of the the stick here the other thing kevin and i do is we put a glob back in the back of the hand sure so when you're down there and if you've thrown already and you've got some attack you off you yellow reserve and back, back in your ear, ear wherever you want <laughs> <laughs> actually that's good in my hair I'm gonna have Ray. I'm gonna stand That's the caber up for him. Regina, Even just how to him. stand the caber properly. <laughs> I think everybody probably knows that now, but how his feet are kind of an L position. I'm gonna stand it for him. Make sure he's ready to go. A good visual and verbal. Second position. Got it. About a twenty foot caber here. Yeah. Great. So he's gonna. I'm gonna hand him the, the caber. Make sure he knows that it's his stick. You're gonna verbalize that. Let him let him know it's, he's got it and step away. So you guys know that if, if as soon as John lets go of the caber, if Ray drops it, that's considered an attempt. But as long as John's still got his hands on it, so you know, typically John out of cur out of courtesy is gonna ask Ray, hey, you got it? He's like, Yeah, I got it. And that's it. And then you just like different things with that too, where you actually have to as soon as you try to pick it, as soon as it comes off the ground. Uh, it depends on the judge, and I think like pro level they would they would count it depending on the and all this stuff. But yeah, to prepare for that. That as soon as you get that hand up, that's yours. That's your attempt there. Okay. So he's gonna stabilize it, put it against his shoulder. I like to have it leaning back a little bit, especially like a lighter caber. I want to feel that caber. I'd rather arrow it being a little bit back. He's got his hands clasped. He's walking down the caber, pretty wide stance where he can get all the way down. I like to be all the way to the base if he can here before he tries to stand up and just slide his hands underneath it too. Okay, go ahead. Slick. Light stick for him. No, no tacky. You want tacky? I have tacky. No, stand up quick, get the fingers under it. I like to carry it with more the two front fingers. I weight more in that position too. So you don't want it on the, the heel of the hand, back like that. His arms are slightly bent with the, the stick here. They're shock absorbers. You can pull it in. You can control where that caber is going. He's going to try to zero it, balance it here first. He's going to choose his line. He's got that balance point. He's going to feel that caber on his shoulder. He's going to slowly start to walk forward. Progress into a full run. He's going to stop finish so as he's stopping I like to do a two a one two stop so dig the heel in heel in and then finish weight back it's easy to get forward with your body and pull out this way you want to stop stop lift straight up just like a power clean a triple extension with the hips hips and keep her in really close and finish over your head follow through Clap behind your head, basically. Pull straight up, and and like Eric Wechter likes to say, take your face off. So almost try to pull the caber back into your face. It's not going to actually do that. All the momentum, the nurse is pulling it out that way. So you're just guiding it up. Okay. And I like to keep it back on my shoulder um, in that balance position while I'm running until I'm ready. You're not letting it fall like a lot of novices will let it fall off their shoulder, and then it's like stop and it's always going to be too late unless you just don't have any speed going into it and you're really quick to stop. I'll keep it back until I'm stopping and letting it come off. That's your cue as soon as it comes off the shoulder. But it's just a natural process and I like to just just run with that caber. I'm squeezing it in consciously feeling that tension on it. There's never a point where it's just squirrely loose in here. I'm torquing on it. I'm having tension on it and squeezing it as I'm stopping before I finish. So always feeling that heaviness of the, the caber and then lifting and finishing. And there's technically a balance point where that caber is going to be more likely to turn unless you really have a lot you're very quick with it and or powerful depending on the length and, and 
the size of the caber, there's a balance point to it. 